Good morning, dear students. Welcome to our grammar session today. Today we will speak about uh, pronouns. First of all, what are the objectives of this lesson? Now you will identify the difference between subject and object pronoun. You will recognize the difference between I and me. And please remember to do the exercises in the activity book and the booklet that will be attached in the school website. First, subject and object pronoun. When I say subject, it means the doer of the action. So I can say I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. But the object pronoun, when I, I, for example, I'm talking to you. He's uh, talking to me. She is talking to us. And you are talking to them. They are talking to you. And we are going to find a lot and a lot of exercises and examples to show the difference. But let's say the subject pronoun, the usage of it, and how can I find it in the sentence. Subject pronoun means the door of the action. The pronoun that performs the action, and it goes before the verb. For example, my mother likes roses. My mother is the subject. So instead of my mother, I can say she. She likes roses. So she is a subject pronoun. Object pronouns. Object, it's the receiver of the action. So when I say that my mother likes roses, so my mother, who is a subject pronoun, and I can say she, she likes what? So the object that follows the verb is roses. So look at the example at the bottom. She likes roses. She likes them. So them is the object pronoun because it goes after the verb. Okay, read these examples and you will find with each example its photo that you can match with it. I am here. Look at me. You are bleeding. Look at you. He, has, he is drunk. Look at him. She's so beautiful. Look at her. That's a scruffy cat. Look at it. We are on the tree, mom. Look at us. You are dirty, children. Look at you. They are a happy family. Look at them. Now you can make a pause and write down in your copybook in a schedule the subject pronoun on the left side the object pronoun on the right side. You can find, for example, I can do the first two with you. I am here. Look at me. Where is the subject pronoun? Yes, it's the doer of the action. I'm speaking about myself, so it's I. This is the subject pronoun. Look at me. Yes, me is the object pronoun. The second one. You are bleeding. Look at you. The first you is the subject pronoun, the doer of the action. And when I say look at, I'm speaking to you, of course. So I say look at you. So there is no subject because look is a command or an order. And there is no subject here as if that I'm speaking to her. I'm speaking to him and so on. So I say to you, look at you. Look at you, it means that uh, look at your, for example, eyes, look at your cheek. Okay, you are bleeding. So the first one, which is before the verb, is the subject pronoun, the doer of the action. And the second that follows a verb or a preposition is the receiver and it's called the object pronoun. 
Great, you can do the rest like that in the table that you already drew on your page. Now let's do the activities. Highlight the correct pronoun. You can make a pause and then you can read each sentence, start to answer it, write down the answer in your grammar copybook and then you can check the answers with me. Come on, let's do it right now and make a pause. Then I will check the answer with you after doing it on your own. Come on, are you ready now? Let's start. First one, look at he or him. Yes, look at him. Then you have he or him is Johnny Depp. Yes, right, it's he, because I have a verb that follows it. The second one. That dog is very friendly. Look at... Is it him or it? Yes, it's it. Because dog is it, of course. The following one. These are excellent books. Take. It's an order now. They or them? Right. Take them. She or her, an excellent singer. She or her, an excellent singer. Listen to she or her. What's missing here? Great! This one is tricky. She's an excellent singer. So please add is before and in order to know that this is now a subject pronoun. Listen to, great, listen to her. The following one, I or me am nervous. Yes, I am nervous. Don't talk to, great, don't talk to me. Oh no, aliens, look at, great, it's them. That man is a liar. Don't talk to. Great to him. That's not your watch. Give to. Yes, give it to me. The children are shouting. Take a look at, at them. Right, great. Okay, and now with the second slide, the difference between I or me. When do I say I and when do I say me? Now, is it me and Maria or Maria and I? I found this confusing. So, is it me or I? This is what's going to be as a confusing thing. And this question will pop up in your mind every time you are writing this in your writing or in the sentence. Okay. I would put my friend's name first to be so polite. So bear this into your mind. I have to put my friend's name first and then I will mention my name or I will mention I so we can say for example Tom and I uh, Juicy and I okay so if you put your friend's name in the beginning to be polite it will be great and it sounds great so Lisa and I went to the park it sounds better than me and Lisa went to the park. Okay, others say, oh, why didn't I say I and Lisa? I said this in the beginning. 
that we can put the friend's name as a sort of politeness. So write the name of your friend first and then write I. So at the beginning of a sentence, use my friend's name and I. There is a tricky part. At the end of a sentence, is it my friend and I or my friend and me? Okay, listen to this. Mary listened to Lisbeth and me. Now, she didn't listen to Lisbeth and I. She listened to Lisbeth and me. So, I have to say after especially the preposition, like listen to, so it's to the object pronoun. So, I have to say to me, to the friend and to me. It's the same concept. I will write the name of the friend first, but it will be me, not I. So, at the end of a sentence, I will remember to use me when I want to say something is happening to me, not to I. So, at the end of a sentence, use my friend's name and me. Remember, in a sentence, use I at the beginning and use me at the end. Thank you. And don't forget to answer the exercises that will be attached in uh, 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 in your copybook and in your booklet, okay, and it will be uploaded on the school website. Bye.